Okay, let's just say this video was a pain to make, so please subscribe. Let's just start by saying I used to like Lego Ninjago a lot. Um, yeah, you can see I own a ton of minifigs from that theme. But now I don't like Ninjago that a lot, but today what I'm gonna do it's I'm gonna go through all of my Ninjago sets, show you them, and I'm gonna go to Bricklink, eBay, and all of those sites and see what my sets are worth today because I heard I own some pretty expensive Ninjago sets. Well, I'm skipping the video, this took forever. Please don't do that because. There's no reason not to, but you're gonna stay or else. I'm gonna show you the other four and then we have to take a trip up there and then somehow we're going to get the extractions for this and I love reveal but fix the problems because these doors cannot open up. Surprising enough, um, my first ever LEGO Ninjago set was the one I showed you right now, which I don't even know the name of. I'm gonna google it after. <laughs> but my second Ninjago set is, uh, is uh, this. I'm gonna rewatch the show because I don't remember this. Remember this was like a birthday gift from my cousin, I'm not sure, but for sure I didn't buy this one because uh, I don't like Lloyd. Yeah. My third uh, Lego Ninjago set, which you can barely see is that thing which I'm not gonna even bother taking out. Um, but I think if you're a Ninjago fan, you probably know what that is. I believe we have the Kai's motorcycle and Zane's uh, snow speeder. I'm getting to Star Wars and I'm not remembering this. This is a shame. Finally, we have um, Jay's jet of some sort. It's pretty crazy. I was a super Ninjago fan and I'm, I'm I don't know the name of this thing. <laughs> I know both of these sets come with the uh, golden weapons and I have those back there but um you really wanna see that? Well we're not going to I'm losing subscribers but for now, I have to go find those instructions to finish this and show you guys my first ever LEGO Ninjago set. And I'm not gonna do a time lapse because I'm not generic bricks and I don't want to use time for Ninjago. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop saying yes too much. I think I found them and it took a whole lot more than I originally anticipated but now that it's, that's done and my room is a mess <sighs> let's go ahead and I think we're gonna enjoy some building and then I'm gonna clean up because I cannot see my room dirty just say I am not happy you know what happened I went through the whole instruction book, first one, second one, and guess what? There was no mistakes. I have to believe myself a little bit more. But there was a mistake. You see it? I thought this was not supposed to be hanging. But now, 
I know they are supposed to be, which I have no heck of an idea why Lego designers thought this was a good idea. This looks very funky. Um, and it got me to mistaking that I have messed up the build. But you can see I have messed up the build. These are not supposed to be black. The black ones should be the exact same as these ones on the back section. So when these two connect to each other, they create a very cool shape and like the instruction book. It's just snapped together very satisfyingly, but I didn't do that and I placed these brown pieces and I I don't even um, put them like the black ones. Then I would say, oh, it's just a color, it doesn't matter, but um, I put them the wrong way, but it gives it a sort of a very really cool shape, you know, a custom shape, and I'm not sad with it, so I'm gonna keep it like that, because I know if I'm going to fix it, um, those brown parts are going to break in half, because they're stuck in there. So this is a set, uh, this is not a review, I'm just gonna show you guys uh, what this set is supposed to be. Um, Again, like I said, um, that um, and wrong order that I was talking about kind of gives away the surprise in this set. But overall, I think this set hasn't aged that much, especially uh, since I played with this a lot. You know, there's like only two scratches on the window shield, which just happen if you just touch it one time. See, just another scratch right there. I did it on purpose and I'm happy about it, you know? And then uh, I'm not gonna put fingerprints all over that. But if we open that up, um, there's a driving seat over there and we'll get to that in a minute. And I always used to put um, the good garment on, not the bad one, in there, I'm not sure what it's called, sorry, I'm not an Injago fan anymore, uh, has a pretty good design, um, but the whole uh, uh, wheels on anything work pretty well in a hard service, in a soft service, but here's the magic to the set, this whole area comes out and you have a station for yourself, you know, you can take out the um, spring-loaded shooters. They work as all of these spring-loaded shooters. I'm not going to shoot them. In fact, um, these were the first time in a Lego set I was getting these um, um, spring-loaded shooters. So it was pretty fun experience for me to shoot them around. But I'm not going to do that right now because that's a miss. But this is pretty much what you can do with this whole, like, base of this uh, massive, like, um, vehicle. And also, these in the back, which can't do much with them, but you can use them as a ramp, so you can, your minifix can get up. Yeah. This was a childhood favorite for me. Um, like, it's a sensational. You can pull this up. You have a little, like, um... I'm not even sure what it's called, it has stud shooters, which I hate, but it's something for Nia to fly around with as the samurai, and overall, I think this was a pretty neat uh, feature to the vehicle, because if they didn't do this, this was going to be bland. So these panels come off, you can see right there, you can... Pretend your minifix can get up, and then this whole section just comes out, and then you have your robot here, which should be uh, driving your vehicle. <laughs> Again, I always used to put garment on in there, and then I can flip this down, and there you go. You have a whole station. If you're in a battlefield, this would be useful. And I always remember I always do this, so. It looks kind of more organic, you know. That's why I'm designing Lego things now. Maybe. Maybe not. But yeah, that's that. As I'm struggling to close this up. 
So I cut this section of the video. Well, that's done. You can have a Kai's motorcycle in there. You can do things with him. Where you can put mini figs inside. The other panels also open up. So you can have it open. Um, like garage? No, like a station. I, I always wanted to call it a station again. I'm not sure the real name is. I'm, I remember seeing this vehicle in the show, but I never see the this part of it, so yeah. I know this comes with another outpost for your enemies or the opposition. I have that too, but um, subscribe if you want to see that. I enjoyed uh, going back to the instructions for the set and just kind of rebuilding it. I didn't rebuild it, but... I didn't get to rebuild it because it was all right, but but um, it was a pretty neat experience, we shall say. <clears throat> a video game that I never was able to play. Bring back a lot of nostalgia. Overall, that was a pretty neat uh, experience. Not enjoyable though. <laughs> But, um, I think we are at the end of the video, um, hope you all enjoyed, you had to enjoy it, and you have to subscribe, or you will die. And I also heard these were very expensive figs, not this one, but this one, and also the Garmadon that I have back there, um, I don't care, really. I'm not gonna sell them, but maybe I'm living the rich life and I don't even know.